this video is about the Ten Commandments and we will be starting with the first commandment. It is found in Exodus chapter 20 verse 3. Uh, it says, I shall have no other gods before me. Now we must understand the context of this commandment which God gave to Israel people. Now Israelites were born, uh, were, uh, they were slaves in Egypt. Okay, they were under slavery. Uh, so, during those times when Israel was uh, under the bondage, of, uh, you know, uh, under Egyptians, they had uh, worshipped all the gods of the Egyptians. Egyptian gods, there were many gods in Egypt, a god for every purpose and a god for every other uh, utility and uh, uh, out of the imagination of Egyptians, a lot of gods were there. And uh, so, when Israel was under the bondage, and when they were in Egypt, they really worshipped the Egyptian gods, they were familiar with the Egyptian gods, and therefore they had no idea of the real god, Jehovah, who uh, basically brought them out of bondage. Now, uh, as you know, Israel crossed the Red Sea, okay, they crossed through the Red Sea, and they were uh, and they were safe, okay? And they were safe from the clutches of the Egyptian people. Now God wants to talk to the Israel people. Now Israel people are free. They are not in bondage. They are free. And God wants to give them, uh, uh, wants to converse with them. And uh, God wants to be their God, the God of uh, Israel. God wanted uh, him. Uh, to be revealed first to the Israel people in this world and so he he chose the way in which he must be worshipped God chose the way in which he must be worshipped uh, basically when you and I uh, uh, you know if we want to worship God there are many methods which we might choose if we don't really understand the nature of God now God is a spirit and therefore we cannot um, really use our own methods to worship God. That's the fundamental point of this first commandment. It basically says, it basically begins, the Ten Commandments basically begin with the point that, okay, I will tell you, God says, I am going to tell you how you are going to worship me. And that is the method and there is, there is no other method which you would devise. So that's what he's trying to say. So, no other gods before me. Which means, which means, there were gods. There were gods, lots of gods, Egyptian gods. And uh, God uh, really opposes that. And uh, he is not okay with polytheism. Polytheism is Jehovah. The God of the Bible, the God is not okay with polytheism. There's a problem with polytheism according to him because there are lots of gods and he doesn't want any companions along with him. He is singular. Basically, he wants to bring home the point that he is singular. God is singular. There's just one God. There cannot be more than one God. And therefore, he says to Israel people, you don't have any other God apart from me. You don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't make any other God apart from me. You don't call them by the names you wish to. You got to call me Jehovah and I am your God. And therefore no other gods are for me. He is singular and he opposes polytheism. That is, why, that is the reason why Christians uh, worship only God and they call God. Uh, and uh, so that's the fundamental point and then it also opposes syncretism syncretism okay now this is uh, a term which uh, says that um, there can be many other gods there can be many other names of gods that's fine they all mean just one god but we just call it by the name we choose to each culture might call uh, I mean, there may be, uh, there may be a hundred gods. 
which might necessarily mean the one God. So let us give equal status to all these hundred gods. That's syncretism. And uh, it doesn't matter what name you call for the 50th god or what name you would call for the 100th god, it doesn't matter. It all points to the one, the, the one god whom we have not seen, whom we are, uh, whom uh, unless until he reveals we cannot conceive. So therefore, this fundamental uh, point which was in practice in Egypt and in ancient cultures, the god Jehovah, the God of Israel, doesn't want this to happen. He opposes syncretism. He says, just call me Jehovah. I am your God and I am going to visit you. I am going to lead you through the wilderness. All you got to do is forget about all the gods that you had worshipped or all the gods you had bowed down to. Forget about all that. Forget about polytheism. Forget about syncretism. I am just your God. And you shall have no other gods before me. And that's the first commandment which God gave to mankind.